One of the things that can make or break your presentation that has nothing to do with your presentation, your, your script, you know, the words, has nothing to do with your delivery, is the room setup. And that's why it's critically important before you speak at an event, and especially if it's at a hosted event, making sure you speak with the host about your requirements, your AV requirements that will allow you to perform at your very best so you can give their audience the best possible experience. So I wanna show you what my AV requirements are. And then what I do is I make sure I get to every event I speak at early. Sometimes early is you know an hour before, sometimes early is a day before, just depending on the type of event. But whether you're speaking at a big conference, a big national conference, or you're speaking at your local chamber, rotary club, business group, make sure you get there early so that you can make sure the room is set up optimally. So I am here in Vegas, so uh, for this tale of the trenches, we're doing this straight from Vegas. And I wanna show you optimal room setup, whether it's a small room or a large room, is a room where you have the projector, the screen, if you will, for the slides on the side or sides of the stage area. And this is more commonplace these days, but when I was started speaking 12 years ago, many event hosts were setting up their room with the slides like right in the center. So you see that table up on the stage, the slides, the uh, screen would come down right behind that. And then what's happening? You as the presenter are fighting for the audience's attention. You're basically fighting for um, center stage with your slides. And oftentimes you had to stand off to the side. And that is not okay because your slides should never be the presentation. You shouldn't have to fight for attention from your slides. Your slides are meant to only be an enhancement of what you're saying. You should always be center stage. So let's walk to the front of the room to check this out. So when you come into the room, you want to make sure that the projector is on the, you know, the, I keep saying projector, the screen is in the right spot off to the side, right? And then you want to come up and check out your speaking area. Now at some events, it's not going to be an actual stage. It's just going to be an area uh, on the floor, right? In the front of the room. And that's great. This presentation, the one that's coming on next actually is a panel. So they have their table and chairs set up. But if I were speaking right after them, I would request that that's removed. I would also request that the podium be removed. And I recommend that all of my clients ask for um, stages or areas in the front of the room with no podium. And this is because the podium will actually obstruct the experience and the view of the audience members on the left side of the stage. You see that? And you don't want anything to get in the way of you and your audience. That will actually break the connection if there's this physical obstruction. So I will have them remove the podium for my presentation. And instead, behind the podium, in the back left corner, I will have them put a small round table. And on that table, I'll have my clicker, I'll have probably a piece of paper for some notes maybe, and I'll also have um, some water. Then, once the room is set up right, what I always like to do is come and get on the stage because you wanna see what it feels like from the front of that room. So whether, again, it's a physical stage or it's just a space in the front of the room. No, you're good, you're good. Uh, this is real, this is like, this is my friend Austin who's gonna be presenting next, right? He's Learned gonna kill it. <laughs> He's gonna kill it. Okay, so I like to get up here and I like to just see how it feels from the front. What does the room feel like? Kind of walk around the stage, go on different spots of the stage, right? And while I'm doing this, I'm imagining the audience. I'm imagining really enriching their lives and loving them and connecting with them. And I'm imagining knocking it out of the park. So here's what I can promise you, whether you're just starting out as a speaker and you're speaking at free events, whether you are a five figure speaker and you're speaking all over the world to make sure the room is set up in a way, again, that's going to optimize your performance and your audience experience and then come up to the front of the room, kind of spend a little time here because when you do this, you take this extra level of preparation, your confidence will soar. And when your confidence soars, you will deliver a crazy good presentation. So with that, be blessed. Until next time, make it a crazy good day.